This is VOA News via remote. I'm Marissa Melton. New information is emerging about the unlocked door the gunman walked through in Uvalde, Texas last Tuesday to gain access to the school. Uh, for uh, AP correspondent Jennifer King has more. Law enforcement had initially said that a teacher at Robb Elementary School propped open an exterior door and that was how the shooter got inside. A spokesman for the Texas Department of Public Safety says investigators have now determined that the teacher, who has not been identified, propped the door open with a rock, but then removed the rock and closed the door when she realized there was a shooter on campus. But the closed door did not lock. The details were confirmed by video surveillance. San Antonio attorney Don Flannery told the San Antonio Express News she saw him jump the fence with a gun, kick the rock away, and remembers pulling the door closed while telling 911 that he was shooting. According to Flannery, she thought the door would lock. I'm Jennifer King. The Biden administration announced on Tuesday it will send Ukraine a small number of high-tech, medium-range rocket systems. It's a critical weapon that Ukrainian leaders have been begging for as they struggle to stall Russian progress in the Donbass region. The rocket systems are part of a new $700 million package of security assistance for Ukraine from the U.S. that will include helicopters, javelin anti-tank weapon systems, tactical vehicles, spare parts, and more. This according to two senior Biden administration officials. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said Wednesday his country would supply Ukraine with modern anti-aircraft missiles and radar systems, stepping up arms deliveries amid criticism that Berlin was not doing enough to help Kiev. Uh, told, Schultz told lawmakers that the government had decided to provide U- Ukraine with Iris T missiles developed by Germany together with other NATO nations. From Washington, this is VOA News. China's support for Russia through oil and gas purchases is irking Washington and raising the risk of U.S. retaliation. But observers say they see no sign Beijing is helping Moscow evade sanctions imposed over its war on Ukraine. Beijing says Moscow is its most important strategic partner. China's importance as a lifeline to Russian President Vladimir Putin increased on Monday after the 27-nation European Union agreed to stop oil purchases by the year's end. Beijing has kept the West guessing about whether it might bail out Russian President Vladimir Putin, but appears wary of risking losing access to Western markets and banks. A record 13 women, including the first female Muslim, have been sworn in as ministers in Australia's government. The ceremony came Wednesday, came 11 days after new Prime Minister Anthony Albanese left the conservative led the, cons- the center-left con- or Labor Party to an election victory over the incumbent conservatives. U.S. President Joe Biden is set to meet with infant formula manufacturers as his administration works to ease nationwide shortages. VOA's Tommy McNeil has more. The administration's strategy calls for importing foreign supplies and using the Defense Production Act to speed domestic production. The White House says Biden will host a roundtable Wednesday with manufacturers including Byheart, Bubs, Australia, Reckitt, and Gerber. Not on the list is Abbott Nutrition, whose Michigan plant was shut down in February over safety concerns, sparking the U.S. baby formula shortage. U.S. regulators in Abbott announced an agreement last month that would help pave the way for reopening the plant, though production has not restarted. Tommy McNeil, VOA News, Washington. The nation's leading cybersecurity agency in the U.S. says electronic voting machines from a leading vendor used in at least 16 states have software vulnerabilities. The U.S. Cyber in- Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Agency said the vulnerabilities can leave the machines susceptible to hacking if the flaws go unaddressed. The information is contained in an advisory that the agency sent to state election officials. It's based on testing by a prominent computer scientist and expert witness in a long-running lawsuit. Shanghai residents visited the waterfront and ate dr- and drank as they walked streets, patrolled by police and after a, as a severe two-month COVID-19 lockdown is being eased. And again, our top story, new information is emerging about the unlocked door the gunman walked through in Uvalde, Texas. Marissa Melton, VOA News. 